In this tutorial, we're going to discuss how we can create Shapely polygons using the data from Pandas data frames. Panda data frames are a very common and very popular way of storing data. They have a bunch of great functions and really great features like importing directly from CSV files and Excel files that really make it worth storing data in them because you can easily move data into and out of it. So usually when we deal with Shapely and other libraries like NumPy and other scientific libraries in Python, we're usually dealing with data frames. So how do we create a Shapely polygon using the data from this data frame that I have here? Well, this is actually pretty simple. It's just one line of code. So I'm gonna store the coordinates, okay? We need to extract the coordinates from here because that's what a Shapely polygon is, right? Let me just leave that as none, okay? And do poly is equal to polygen, okay? And then pass in chords in here. What we need is something like, uh, you know, like this. What we're looking for is something like this, okay? Where we have our coordinates like this, okay? But obviously, in a data frame, that isn't stored like that. It's not stored in a 2D array where we have individual coordinates stored over here. We don't have that. We need to convert it to that format. So what we're going to do is array. okay? We have NumPy up here. We're going to convert it to a NumPy array, the entire data frame, all right? And this basically combines those two kind of. If I print out the result here, you can take a look at it. Okay, all right, now what we're gonna do is map, all right, map it to a tuple, okay, because we want individual tuple values, as I mentioned earlier, okay, for X and Y. Now, I'm not gonna print it out right now because we'll just get a map object, so I'll convert it to a list first. And this should give us our result. Yeah, there we go. Here's our result, okay? It's now a 2D array where we have, you know, tuples over here, tuples of X and Y values. And you can see that they match 10, 10 is the first one and 50, 10 is the second one, 50, 50 is the third one and so on and so forth. So what I'm going to do is just pass in these coordinates over here and just going to print out this polygon just to prove that, you know, it's working. Okay, poly.type and here we go. All right, hold on, just type. I'm just using type over here to prove that it's all working, okay, chords. Because when you print a polygon by default, it basically prints out its coordinates. So here we go. Type is polygon, great. And here are the coordinates. This is a valid polygon that we can now use in our Shapely code or with any other library in Python that you might be using it with. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed this video.